So, ano ba yung Wakelet? Uh, it's a free platform that allows you and your students, you and your students, ha, to save, organize, present, and share your content from across the web. In layman's term, pag inisip natin siya, a way for you to get all of your resources into one, let's say, collection or list. Na pwede mo siyang isend yung link and then after na isend mo yung link, pwede mong gawin silang contributor o pwede silang pwede kayo makapag-share ng ano ng contents with them kahit na anong klasing media ang nandoon from the internet let's say siya ba ay PDF, siya ba ay image, siya ba ay URL, siya ba ay Google Drive din halos lahat po ng pwede niyo ma-imagine na resources pwede niyo ilagay into a collection sa loob ng Wakelet okay so the next one is ano yung nagagawa ng Wakelet? Ang nagagawa ng Wakelet is it lets you transform the way schools, principals, teachers, and tech coaches educate. Because when you have a collection using Wakelet, it's very visual, it's very organized in such a way na pwedeng kayo yung nagkocontrol ng kung anong mga contents to nandoon. You can tell every story that you want to tell your students, your learners, para mas madali nyong maibigay yung kailangan nilang content. It also allows you to unlock the potential of, of student learning and education everywhere. It lets them be in control with the content also. Lalo na kung ginawa nyo siyang contributor. Okay? So, let's explain Wakelet in three easy steps. Sa tatlong mad- 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 mabilis na, ano, na steps lang. So, Wakelet, it's It, it allows you to board, bookmark everything. So, bookmark everything, bookmark anything. So, kung meron kayong mga links from Reddit, Facebook, Google Teams, OneDrive, Flipgrid, Medium, Instagram, halos lahat ng uh, mga websites, pwede nyo ilagay yon into a collection. Pwede nyo rin siyang i-bookmark. Kung hindi pa kayo disidido na kung saan siya ilalagay na collection, pwede nyo siyang gawin na bookmark. Okay? And then, after nakapag-decide kayo habang naghahanap kayo ng mga uh, contents uh, throughout the web, you can organize and curate it. So, what you can do is after seeing all of the tabs, di ba, halimitan mga, ano, mga mannerism natin o ugali natin, we'll just open new tabs and then pag nakita natin yung tabs, uh, ang dami ng biglaan. So, pwede nyong i-copy and paste yon into your collection sa Wakelet in any manner pos- possible. For example, ito yung pinakaunang tab, pangalawang tab, pwede nyong ilipat sila ng mas mabilis. You can add images, text, and more content to your collection which is more meaningful to you and more engaging to you. Kasi kayo mismo yung nag-curate ng inyong mga resources. Okay? And then after that, kung nakuha nyo na yung lahat ng mga kailangan nyo and you want people to also contribute to that, you can, you can activate yung kanilang collaboration and sharing function. So, you can invite others regardless na kung meron silang Wakelet account o kung wala silang Wakelet account, okay lang yun. Uh, merong paraan para kayo ay makapag-collaborate using this method. Okay? You can share a link, you can share a QR code, you can share a code Invite code, pwede nyo gawin yan. Okay? So, in a nutshell, tatlo lang yung pwede nyo mapag-usapan regarding, regarding Wakelet. You can bookmark anything, you can organize and curate, and then, you can collaborate and share. So, yan yung kaya nyo gawin sa loob ng Wakelet. Okay. So, ito yung lahat ng supported na mga integration within Wakelet. So, you have the following. So, kita nyo yung ibang nandiyan. Kung kayo po, uh, gumagamit kayo ng Google Classroom, gumagamit kayo ng uh, Flipgrid, gumagamit kayo ng uh, Microsoft Teams, Facebook, Sway, uh, Flipgrid, ano ko ba yung iba dyan, Reddit, tsaka mga URLs, pwede nyo ilagay dito sa loob ng Wakelet. So, meron nga silang tinatawag na app smashing eh, pero later na natin pag-usapan yun or in the next episodes na gagawin natin kasi medyo advanced yung app smashing. Okay? So, ito yung mga key features ng Wakelet. As you would see here, ang pinakamalaking malaking uh, factor dito sa loob ng Wakelet is the collaboration factor. The collaboration on which you can share your collection at yung collection na yon, pwede silang magdagdag ng kung ano-anong mga relevant na 
content on which it would help you para mas ma uh, masabi nyo kung ano yung kailangan nyo with that collection. Regarding kung meron kayong lessons, kung meron kayong mga professional development courses, pwede nyo gawin dito. And then, this one is uh, yung copy collection. It will also enable yours, uh, yourself. You can also enable yourself to give copies of your uh, curated content. For example, meron akong uh, resources ng ganito karaming uh, tutorial for Photoshop or for uh, Microsoft Teams. Pwede nyo gawin yon and share it with others. Okay? Uh, meron din silang dinagdag dito yung immersive reader. So, ang kagandahan nito, kung uh, kayo po ay gusto nyong meron na magbabasa sa inyo, meron, meron ganung function sa loob ng Wakelet. And then, you can also embed collection kung kayo po ay gumagamit ng any LMS. Let's say, uh, Canvas, Coology, Neo LMS, Blackboard, o ano-ano pa. Moodle, yan. Pwede nyo gawin dito yan. Pwede embed nyo yung collection into an LMS. So, it's completely straightforward application. 